What's up y'all, this is Michael K. Malloy with SharePoint in 60 Seconds, and today I'm going to show you how to get your Mac users included in the workflows. Okay, for anybody out there who's tried to run an approval workflow for a Mac user in SharePoint 2010 or 2013, you have been disappointed by the fact that they cannot open this task. So I'm going to show you today how to fix that. First thing we want to do is we want to access the out of the box approval workflow. So let's go ahead and fire up SharePoint Designer and we're going to go ahead and pop into our site. All right, here we are. Now all we got to do is find our workflows. There you go. And we got the approval 2010. Just right click on that puppy, copy and modify. We are rocking and rolling y'all. Come on now. We're going to name this something cool like, I don't know, I approval. And then we're going to just add the word, you know, at the end here. I don't know. Miggity, miggity, Mac daddy. Something fun. Okay. Now, when that pops up, what we want to do is go ahead and click into the workflow. And then we're going to change the behavior of a single task. Now it's going to look for the line that talks about external participants is empty. Click on current task assigned to. We're almost there, folks. Now, this is just bold. In the Outlook client, you will see an open this task button either in the ribbon or at the top of the email. But if you're in the Outlook web app, uh-uh, no dice, no open this task button, so forget it. If you're on Mac, uh-uh, forget it, nothing. So we're going to fix that for everybody. Just highlight this stuff right here. Go to the hyperlink button. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it to open this task. We're going to click on our FX here. And then we're going to change this from current item to current item or current task approval workflow. And then for field from source, we want to find the form you are in. So we go on down. There it is. We're rocking and rolling, rocking and rolling. Okay, and okay, and boom, shaka laka. Look at that stuff. Woo, love it. Click on okay. And then we need to save this guy here. I'm going to save it. Now we go to workflows here. Approval. We're going to publish. Oh, actually, I apologize. We're going to publish globally. Come on, I'm human. What's up? Publish globally just tells you it's going to be reusable in every site in the collection. That's exactly what we want, y'all. This is saying there will be no visualization because I don't have Visio installed. Oh, well, no big deal. All right, y'all, now we got that published globally. Let's check it out. So we're going to go in here, just hit a little refresh just to be on the safe side. All right, so we'll go to our document library. And then we need to make sure we add that I approve a workflow. So we're going to go over to the library tab, workflow settings, and add a workflow. What? What? Sorry, I get a little bit excited about SharePoint sometimes. All right. Come on now. There we go. So we scroll, oh, look at a little I approval. Isn't that cute? All right. So I approval, name it something, I don't know. Name it something awesome. Yep, 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 yep. Next. All right, so we'll go ahead and put a username in there. Oh, come on now. Let's play nice in the sandbox. Seriously, come on now. Let's play nice. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna have like a naughty little workflow. Is that what's the problem? Come on. All right, gotta do this the hard way, folks. There we go. Goodness gracious. Okay. Oh, anyway, we're in there now. We'll leave these other things blank just so we can demo the workflow. And we see it's running here. Okay. Actually, it does. it's not running. It's added, rather. Now we got to go back to the document library, use the breadcrumbs, and now we're going to fire off the workflow. So more options, more options, advanced workflows. Now that we added our eye approval, we can use that. Well, it's eye approval, but it's, we remember we named it something awesome. So either way. Now we'll fire that off and wait for the magic to happen. Cause Hey, it feels like magic. Cause it works so smoothly. Y'all come on now. All right. All right. All right. It is in progress. Y'all. Now we're going to go into our email. All right. So I'm here in the client and let's take a look at the email that we get very elegant email, lots of info. We could have put more info in here, more instructions, but we opted not to no worries. And with your workflow, we have two separate things going on. We have the actual item or file itself that needs to be reviewed. And then we have a separate task and a totally separate list that needs to get closed out so that everybody knows that all the work has been done. So we'll go ahead and click on the actual file here. And as you notice here, it actually launched me into uh, Edge. So apparently that ended up being my default when I upgraded to Windows 10. So it's asking us if we want to open it up from the SharePoint location. Okay. And it's saying from SharePoint.com. So don't think it's downloading. It's just a process. Click open. And you have the edit this workbook because right now in read only you're in read only and you have open this task. See how it's two separate streams. So I'll click on edit the workbook. Okay. And then we can go to open this task right from the actual program. I mean, that's pretty sweet if you ask me. Yes, it does make you log in a few times. So a lot of people get frustrated with those logins, but here's what you can tell them. It's just making sure that we don't get hacked and then walk away. All right, so we have this. Uh, person can go ahead and add comment saying I reviewed it looks awesome and they can approve reject cancel request change reassign task if you want to stay tuned for another video uh, I can explain these in detail but right now we're gonna click on approve and it bounces us back to the document so we can close that actually we probably want to save it first just saying so that was the experience if you use it the way that Microsoft sort of uh, guided you into okay but if you happen to go off script here's how you'd work through that if you don't click on the file name um, maybe you already have the file open you're aware of it and all you want to do is open this task and so that's where the problem starts for uh, the web app and our office users and that's the email coming in saying uh, that everything's done um, what I was saying before though is that that's the experience for our our, uh, our web app users and our Mac users uh, if they want to open the task from the email they just can't do it unless we do the work that we just did so 
uh, basically click on the button just to test it out. And boom, it launched us right into there. Now, we don't have the buttons now. Why? Well, because we already completed it. So it's just a security feature to make sure that you don't go back in there and redo some stuff to something you already approved. Uh, but I promise you the buttons would be there had we not already approved it. So this is Michael K. Malloy saying, thank you so much for watching. Pass it on if you found value. And I really want you to use this to help you be and look like the superstar that you already are. So walk into that office and say, you know what, here's a solution. And I hope it works out well for you. Have a great day. And make somebody smile today, y'all. Happy SharePoint.